Lucifer put up a better fight than this. I of all creatures am a liar when I hear one down your own. The stink of your fears speaks louder than your words. Now drop the gun. It's been too long since I had such a worthy subject to torture. Watch where you point that thing. Sorry, I, I thought you were... Alistair. Yeah, I got that. That was a pretty good trick back there, by the way. It saved our asses. Where'd you learn to do that? Later. It looks like we're not any closer to my... our goal than we were before. And just what is our goal at this point? To eliminate Alistair before his armies can attack Purgatory. But now that he knows we're after him, that's just gotten a whole lot harder. And I suppose that's my fault. Don't be ridiculous. Nobody, Samael, Lucifer, Alistair, or even me thought you'd make it this far. Quite an achievement for someone so new to the afterlife. Yeah, but not good enough. I need to take Alistair down before he can mass his attack. After I get rearmed, I need you to get me back into hell so I can make Alistair pay for what he's done to you and to me and what he's about to do to all the souls in purgatory. There is no way back into hell, Daniel. The only gate was in the monastery, and that's gone. Why don't you just do that little trick of yours again? That little trick, as you call it, only works one way. <laughs> what idiot would want to find a way into hell? Damn it, Eve. I know that Alistair and his forces aren't gonna sit still. I didn't put that big of a dent in his army. He was gonna mount an attack on Purgatory, and I don't see any reason why those plans should have changed. And he's not gonna attack unless there's a back door for him and his armies to retreat through if the battle turns against them. They're cowards. The cowards always have a way out. I'm betting that by intercepting his minions as they come through into Purgatory, I can hold off his invasion long enough to find that door. Then, I'll show Alistair the meaning of torture and pain. Thing is, he knows I'm still here. And it's a sure bet he won't set foot in any place I've been before. He won't take me on unless he has the home field advantage. You've been here a lot longer than I have. You must have some idea where Alistair might send his advanced troops. Show me. Uh, there are so many places. Here, the orphanage. Orphanage? There are children in purgatory? Of course. The souls of the young are generally neither good nor evil. They hang in the balance, and therefore end up trapped in purgatory. Eventually, most are sorted out sent on their way, but some, the most tortured, remain here for all eternity. Many of them congregate at the orphanage. Why would Alistair's minions be interested in that place? The souls of children are easily manipulated, 
Alistair will find many willing followers there, and you'd best not think of them as children. If Alistair manages to corrupt them, they'll be as dangerous as any other creature you fought in Purgatory. Then I start at the orphanage. <sighs> wait. I can't make it right now. If we wait until morning... If we wait until morning, it might be too late to stop him. I know Alistair won't wait. I want you to stay here anyway. This is a battle I need to fight alone. Daniel! If you do manage to kill him, don't let any of his minions near him. Anything that comes into contact with him before his life energy is dissipated might absorb his power and take his place. You'll find yourself facing a new ruler of hell if that happens. Thanks for the warning. If I take out Alistair, I'll see you when it's over. If not, well, we won't have a whole lot of time for regrets, will we?
Ares.
Huh! <laughs> 
seems like all of eternity, and I've never seen anyone as tenacious as you. Let's just say I was motivated. Yes, Daniel. You are a man of conviction, driven by your conscience and emotions, but your emotions for others, not yourself. You have literally been through hell and back. You turned away from your rightful place at your wife's side in heaven to save me. A soul whose fate was decided when the Earth was still young and new. No sin is too great to be forgiven. <laughs> of course that's not for you to decide, now is it? And where will you go now? What will you do now that you've finished Samael's work? I've done what I was asked. 
My destiny is to be at Catherine's side. That's where I belong. As soon as we get out of here... Yes, Daniel. It's time for you to go. But not me. You have your destiny. And I have mine. Eve! No! yourself before him. He will allow you to choose your fate. That is one thing he has given us all. The freedom to choose. You can choose to return to Catherine, but I know you have feelings for me too. What I am saying, Daniel, is that you have alternatives. Times have changed since you walked in the garden, sweetheart. You've got nothing I want. So, you've made your choice then. I suppose there's nothing left to say.